ha nacido como ganador y ha nacido para ser líder. Cuando él dice algo, sin subir el tono, todo el mundo lo, lo sigue. Notch, hit again, he's held it again, that's a great goal by Notch. Él era el, el capitán, ¿no? El, el que nos ayudaba a todos. One of the best players all over the Europe. He had the greatest influence and the greatest impact on Hungarian handball ever. My name is Laszlo Nagy. I was born in Székes Fehérvár. My father was a professional basketball player, and that's why I was born there. But after my first year, we moved family to Seged because my father was continuing playing in Seged. He changed the club. That was a nice uh, handball team in Seged, you know, and that atmosphere uh, catched me, and I got a good feeling. So. Step by step, I, I was changing uh, basketball for, for handball. And there was a U uh, under 17 European Championship where, where he was great. He, he, he played almost like an a experienced player. We got a bronze medal, and the um, Spanish um, team leader was a friend of. Uh, Mythical coach of, uh, of FC Barcelona, Valero Rivera, no? La legit es Laszlo Nagy, un garés de 19 anys procedent del pic Esguet. Es la nova aposta de Valero Rivera. Uh, Vespen also was interesting on me to, to sign for them. Uh, we tried, uh, we tried that, um, but uh, they informed us that uh, it is not possible. They made a lot of money from Barcelona. Uh, we had no chance. In Hungary and Hanbal that time, uh, we had another possibilities. Uh, not same as like today. Nagy está considerado como una de las más grandes promesas de l'handbol mundial y a pesar de la seva juventud ya ha estat 17 vegades internacional a Hungría. I was 18 when I uh, debuted in, in Hungarian handball national team, so it was a big pleasure to to be there uh, as young as I was. He was a very talented guy, but he was a young boy. He he was thin. He was a thin guy. I have a special uh, dieta, I have a special work in the gym. So in my first year I got uh, 10 kilo, uh, kilograms plus uh, on muscle. And after a few years probably, he was totally rebuilt in Barcelona and he became a great fighter, full of muscles. Con esa altura podía tirar de muy lejos porque ha tenido un lanzamiento fuerte y y era problema que si sales, eh, pasa, si no sales, eh, tira. Para nosotros, porteros, era muy difícil. It was obvious that the, the first and the greatest Hungarian player of that generation, or even the decade, is Laszlo Nagy. To be the captain of Barcelona, it's a great merit, even if you're a Spanish player, but if you're a foreigner. That year I was a captain, and I got the first time this trophy, you know, in my hand, so I was really proud to, to be there. People thought that Lazio was going to play in the London Olympics in the Spanish team. The Spanish uh, national team uh, was asking me if I want to, to play with, with Spain. I thought, okay, not yet, I have no answer. We offer you one year contract. Okay, being captain, we offer two years contract. And I said, uh, no, I want longer.
Barcelona was very hard, very hard, and um, we had to go to Barcelona uh, 12 times. We had uh, uh, meetings, 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 and uh, we were able to reduce uh, 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 the transfer fee, and uh, we made an agreement uh, with Barcelona. Yeah, he was a lot of time in Barcelona to, com to convince me to come to, to West Ham, and finally he got it. One of the Hungarian players, Gabo Császár, uh, said that he felt like an ancient Hungarian king from the Middle Ages resurrected. That's what he felt when Lotzi came back. It wasn't a frustration to the Hungarian fans. They were happy about the fact the West Prem could win the semi-final against Kiel. So everybody was happy. That wasn't the same one year later. Hello, good afternoon. Good evening, I should say, and you're very welcome to a packed house here at the Lancers Arena. West Prem was leading by nine goals in the middle of the second half. This West Prem team is rocking and rolling, and they are putting Kielce to the sword. Nobody knows what happened and there's no uh, uh, certain explanation for that. In the last 15 minutes, we, we blocked completely in defense, in attack, no saves, so it was, it was terrible last uh, 15 minutes. Look at the foul on the Evsky. Oh, no! What a goal! And we are going to extra time! Finally, Kielce won the game with a penalty shootout. Whistle goes, fakes it. It was really, um, really bad uh, for, for, for the summer period, you know, I couldn't watch that game back, so it was, it was hard. Finally, we, we lost once again that final, and of course, I was really sad because of that. I was a few minutes on the bench, just with uh, head down, and analyzed that it's over. I mean, my career, it's, it's ended. My dream, my goal, uh, was uh, win at least one Champions League trophy with West Prem. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm missing this as a, as a player, and of course, maybe some kind of medal with the Hungarian uh, national team. But okay, uh, it's done. I hope and I wish to Hungarian uh, national team players one time to, to have this kind of medal, but I, I couldn't reach. And of course, uh, for the West Ham players and West Ham fans to, to reach this uh, Final Four trophy.